gotta get back to Forks. <laughs> Getting a super late day today. So late, in fact, that the sun's actually going down already. I'm telling you what, I've gotta figure out a better way. Or there's gotta be more sun. My cold doesn't help either, especially with my whatever I got going on here. Yeah. Take a look at all those balloons in that window. Damn. Must be a hell of a birthday party over there. Double parking outside of New York City? What is this? Another double parker just beside The funniest thing about that guy, if you can see, there's actually a parking space right there. In my new phone case, you like it? It's an elephant. I actually got this in California a couple of years back. Double, double parking. I'm impressed. Easton doing New York City proud. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. See, that's enough bumper stickers. Just normal stickers. town of Easton, Riverside Park, with the amphitheater over there, all lit up, pretty festive, New Jersey across the bridge, and the river below, it was here a couple of, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month, just looking at that beautiful bridge, just chilling. Literally chilling. That looks pretty, pretty nice. I can't lie. You can see that little light up bike in the background. There's parking up there, but it's pay parking. So if you want to see the Larry Holmes statue, just park over here at Riverside Park. It's free parking right here. But there's tolls if you just don't want to walk. It's, it's not even that far. You can even grab a free book and read it if you'd want to. Right here. Get your read on. Don't get your radon. That's, that's, I don't, I don't even know what that is. I think it's bad, isn't it? Interesting, right here, Easton was one of the three places where the Declaration of Independence was read aloud, publicly. Christopher Columbus, just blowing in the wind. You stay right there. Don't, don't you even think about following me. I know I haven't seen you in a while, but that doesn't, that's not an excuse. It is a good looking bridge. Not a $15 bridge either. It's free. From Pennsylvania to New Jersey. A little history about said bridge. It's a train. And a waterfall. But main focus, the train. Oh, it's a good little exercise. Got a nice little one too. It's the waterfall. Gets the run off from the dam. Nice over here. There he is, Rocky Balboa himself. Larry Holmes. <clears throat> the Eastern Assassin. Former heavyweight champion of the world. A little snow flurries coming down. Family man. Looks nice silhouetted with all those lights. The Eastern Assassin. He was a good guy. Gave back to his community. Always helped out. He turned pro in 1973 and gained valuable experience while sparring with heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. A win over hard punches garnered Holmes a WBC title to go with Ken Norton. He defended his title 17 times. There he is throwing his signature left hook against Ken Norton. A nice Christmas tree with the blurry lights. A strewn. 
pretty interesting about the history of this statue. It was sculpted in 1930 during one of the, 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 the during the Earth Depression experienced by America. This statue was created for thirteen thousand dollars. This nine foot Christopher Columbus statue was made by Philadelphia sculptor Giuseppe Donato. Maybe he should have Donato the statue to people took out second mortgages on their house to help pay for this. The smashed screens intertwined with Christmas lights. <laughs> There it is, just blinking in the wind. The flag. Damn, it's gonna be the best seat I've ever seen. Look at that horse. Damn. Whole place is. <laughs> Holy crap. Says there's not record stores anymore. Look at all these guys. You've even got classic players for your 8-track. I believe that's an 8-track. No, it's a 4-track. Stereophonic. I don't know. But, uh, oh my god, look at that. The trip is complete without a big marker. Decorate my big name with it. Pineapple Pat 1. Big markers and crayons. Just chilling out. Doing little 69s. some over there. Wow. Live nude. She's so nude. Didn't know Carrie had a wedding. You know, there's a train passing through right next to my bed in here. You can see those stoplights blinking away. Just rolling through the beginning of Delaware. I haven't been this close to a train since I was in Johnson City. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> the inside of my car where I get a couple of mattresses, a sleeping bag, and everything I else, everything else is just chilling in the front seat. Well thank you guys for sticking with me with my nasally sounding voice and my oh, I'm trying to make them as interesting as I can but I'm gonna be sick for a while so hopefully you can stand this me talking like uh, I'm holding my nose closed. Hey guys what am gonna sound like this? <laughs> thank you guys for watching I'll see you tomorrow.